hi guys before starting this video can i have your attention for like 30 minutes 30 seconds um i know it's been a while since i posted my last video but i'm back again right now guys and i hope you guys are going to enjoy the content that i will be creating so far uh, i've changed the way how i edit videos the thumbnails and stuff so like I stopped for a while so that I can figure out what can I do so I can come with a good content guys so like guys I hope you're going to enjoy this video and yeah don't forget to comment on this video so I can know what you guys think about things that I do on this channel and stuff guys let's talk please without wasting any time guys let's get straight into the video iPhone. In today's video, I'm not going to talk about Steve Jobs, how he started uh, Apple, he and Steve Wozniak and stuff. But today I'm going to tackle how Steve Jobs' life and adventures and the businesses after uh, departure from Apple in 1980s and his return to the Apple in early 2000 and all the innovation but mostly i'm going to talk about the, the things he did from 2000 until 2011 so guys without wasting any time let's get to the video so the first thing steve jobs gave us when he get back to apple was to save a problem steve jobs was a problem solver he solved a problem that has been that has been there for too long he saved the music industry from uh, Napster and all the piracy. So he decided he's going to create the best MP3 player. So in two, 2001, October 23, the iPod was born. And he gave us the iPod, which was the best MP3 player at the time. The best one which had 5 gigs of stories and can load up to 1000 songs. He didn't only make an iPod but he made it a store. So we can, so people can purchase music legally instead of pirating it and put it in on iTunes, on, on iPod. So he made an, a store called iTunes store so people can purchase the music legally. So he can save the music industry because at some point music industry was facing a lot of challenges with piracy and a lot of uh, pi pirating website. So he made things simple by unbundling the album and selling each and every song 99 cent dollar, 99 cent. And secondly, he created a Mac OS. He created a Mac OS which was also created in 2001 but macOS was always there because it, it was macOS came from the the next company he sold to apple which was the company he founded after he left apple in the 80s so he sold next to apple so the software they were, he was using at next became macOS i guess you guys understand the company he, he founded after he left Apple was called Next, was also manufacturing computers. So he sold the Next technology to Apple. And the, the Next software became the Mac OS. I guess you guys understand. So the Mac OS was born and he came into Mac and Touches and the Mac books and all these stuffs. Job gave us a lot of products on this 10 year plan. In 2007, everybody know this day, June 29, 2007, an iPhone was born. An iPhone, the best selling product in Apple company ever, was born. So Steve Jobs was very, very creative because if he created an iPhone, or he made an iPhone in 2007 but you know what I like about Steve Jobs is that 
when he makes something whatever that he made or a product especially hardware that hardware will come with each and everything that will work uh, specifically for that product because he created iphone in 2007 and he created an app store which is right now is the best uh selling uh software in apple right now and he created an ios for an iphone which means this one this one in 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 all oh, in the beginning of the video i said steve jobs he hate licensing stuff from other companies so when he makes an hardware he makes a software for it also he made an iphone uh ios and an app store and app store is still one of the best thing and game changer because of steve jobs created a lot and a lot of jobs by app store app store was came in life in 2008 july and came on an iphone with 500 apps available on it and apple right now in 2019 apple claims that is hey apple claim to have paid over 155 billion to developers today we call it the ipad and the last thing steve job gave us was an ipad in 2010 so i would say it was revolutionary because of a lot of people and a lot of companies have been trying for many years to try to make an a portable computer or, or a tablet or something but a lot of companies were like trying to load a lot of like computer software on the small devices so it made it harder for them to be able to to develop a, a smart and a good and usable a portable um tablet or an ipad but in 2010 steve jobs decided that he is going to change the game and mix a tablet or an ipad for us which was revolutionary after that a lot of companies started coming up with their own tablet and stuff but till today there is no a good tablet than, than an ipad it's either you're using a normal phone or an ipad not another tablet you're using ipad or a normal phone so guys steve gave us a lot of things and the things that i didn't mention on this uh, topic or uh, on this episode is that uh steve jobs also gave us siri but i didn't mention it as a uh, his invention because they bought siri from another company so like i still give him a credit because of they saw they had an eye for an amazing technology of uh voice assistant uh on on smartphones because of a lot of smartphones back in the days they didn't have uh a voice assistant so like i did i just give steve jobs a lot of credit for being able to recognize such an amazing technology for the future right now as you can see we have take we have uh voice assistants like google assistant we have alexa we have katona we have um a lot of them we have alexa we have bixby by samsung yeah so guys thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe yeah oh uh, but the most important leave the comment guys comment and tell me what you think about this episode and the new look of my thumbnails and other things thank you for checking out this video and we'll meet again on the next video guys